Hello and welcome. This session is on using the Tiber 2000 Fiber Complete and doing a reference for bidirectional loss and bidirectional ORL. There is a separate video for using the Tiber 2000 Fiber Complete and there's a separate video for doing inspection with the Tiber 2000 using the P5000i Fiber Inspection Scope. Referencing is a two-step process. There is a loopback method when the two units are not side-by-side, -side, and there's a side-by-side -side method when the two units are side-by-side. -side. In these photos here, the reference jumper is connected to the module, which is on the back of the 2000 mainframe, and the other end of the jumper is plugged into the power meter, which is on the mainframe itself, and it says PM. That's the first step. The second step is to do an ORL measurement. In the old days, a mandrel wrap was used. The kit now comes with non-reflective terminators. So instead of putting a mandrel wrap on the end of the reference jumper, a mating adapter is used, and a non-reflective terminator is connected to the mating adapter, and that kills the back reflections for ORL reference instead of having to use a mandrel wrap. If there are no non-reflective terminators available, a mandrel wrap may be used. Those are the two steps. If side-by-side -side reference is chosen as a method, then there's a third step. In this case here, it shows the jumper from the one unit connected to the jumper from the other unit with a mating adapter, and that is a third step. A terminator kit will come with the Tiber 2000 Fiber Complete module. It consists of several different mating adapters and several different types of non-reflective terminators. In this case, here is a Sam Charlie UPC reference jumper, a mating adapter, and here is the non-reflective terminator for Sam Charlie UPC. The non-reflective terminators basically look like attenuators except there is a ferrule on one side and the other side is capped. If the reference jumper is a UPC, ensure a UPC non-reflective terminator is used. And if the reference jumper is an APC, ensure a APC non-reflective terminator is used. Also, regardless of the connector on the module, be it APC or UPC, if it's an APC connector, only an APC connector can be plugged into it. If it's a UPC connector on the module, only a UPC connector can be plugged on it. If there's a difference between the network and the module, then a hybrid jumper would be used. So if the network had a UPC and the module had an APC, then an APC plugs into the module and a UPC would plug into the network. There is a quick card that explains the reference process as well as using the Tiber 2000 Fiber Complete. Here are some photos for the loss reference. The jumper's plugged in the module, then plugged in the mainframe and the power meter. And then for the oral reference, the non-reflective terminator or mandrel is used. Now we'll go to the GUI of the Tiber 2000 and do an actual reference. Once the reference is made, the reference jumper should remain connected to the Tiber 2000 module. Many of the hard cases will allow that. If that's the case, keep the jumper connected, and that way only the end of the reference jumper has to be cleaned and re-inspected. If the jumper is moved, a new reference should be done, as disconnecting the reference jumper can change the loss and overall values when a test is run. To get started, Press the home hard key on the mainframe. We're now on the home page. Select the FCOMP icon, which is the fiber complete icon. Click it, makes it yellow, and launches it to the results page. In the upper right, there is a soft key for references. Press that. In the upper right, there is a take reference. Soft key, hit that. Now there is a choice for a loop 
reference or a side-by-side -side reference. Many times the two units are far away, so that means a loop pack can be done. User A will do a reference and user B will do a reference and they can be far, far away. If both of the testers are side-by-side, -side, then a side-by-side -side reference can be done and obtain just a little bit more accuracy in the reference. But loopback is very common. So loopback reference will be selected. It says connect the jumper from the module to the mainframe power meter. Here's a little schematic of it and hit OK. Nothing else to be, needs to be done. Now the tester will perform a reference with the modules that are on that particular module. Now the loss reference is done for all of the modules. So it says connect effective terminator to the end of the jumper or use a mandel wrap. Using the non-reflective terminator certainly is much easier. I verified my connections were clean. The non-reflective terminator is connected. Hit OK. And now a reference will be done for ORL. If reference is done poorly, such as there's dirt, the jumpers were plugged in all the way, then a failing result will occur, basically telling the user to redo the reference. Hit exit, and now the references are complete. If I hit the upper right, soft key and hit the reference soft key it shows that my references are done i have excellent orl reference and i have my loss done for my insurson loss reference